Welcome to the eTech City How To Series. Today we will be demonstrating how to use the MSR P600 Pocket Multimeter. What you'll notice about this multimeter is that it's very small and compact, which makes it great for use around the home or at school if you are studying electrical engineering. It also has an auto range function and LCD display making it ideal for beginners. So you won't have to keep turning the switch like on manual range meters to get an accurate reading. And unlike most multimeters, the leads on this device are already connected so you don't have to keep switching jacks in order to take measurements. Now before you start measuring all of your electrical gadgets, be sure to have the switch turned on to the correct setting. Measuring while the multimeter is on the wrong setting could cause it to malfunction. Also be aware that this multimeter cannot and should not be used to measure voltages higher than 500 volts. Doing so can cause the device to malfunction and injure you or the user. Let's start with how to measure DC voltages. We'll be measuring this battery. Set the switch to measure DC voltage. Don't worry if the numbers on the display begin to fluctuate. This is normal. To check if the meter is still working, touch the metal probes together and the meter will wind back down to zero. Place the red probe on the positive end and the black probe on the negative end, and you should get a reading on the LCD display. Press the hold button to lock in your reading and press it again to clear the screen. Now let's try measuring AC voltage. We're going to be measuring a power strip this time around. Set the multimeter to the same setting you used to measure DC voltage, but this time you're going to press the select button to switch the multimeter's function. Now you're ready to measure AC voltage. Go ahead and insert the probes, like so, and the reading will show on the display, giving you the voltage of the outlet. Be sure not to touch the metal probes together while they are in the outlet. You can seriously injure yourself or damage the device. Testing resistance is easy. Simply turn the switch so that it's now measuring ohms. We're going to test the resistance of this resistor. However, you can't test the resistance of an electrical object while it's still connected to a power source or a circuit board. You'll have to disconnect the device and remove the component you wish to test. Also make sure not to measure voltages or currents when the multimeter is in this setting, because you might blow a fuse doing so. To test the continuity of a circuit, turn the switch to the resistance setting, then press the select button twice to switch the multimeter's function for continuity. You can test the continuity setting by touching the probes together. If the meter beeps, that means there's almost zero resistance between two points. Here we'll be testing a fuse to see if it is internally broken. When you're finished using the meter, turn it off and place it back in its case. And store the multimeter in a cool, dry place. That's it for this basic guide on how to use this multimeter. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below and be sure to take a look at some of our other products at eTechCity.com.